Is there a higher calling than curing cancer? The attempts that we're making to cure cancer are really addressing one of the most challenging problems that humans face. The coming together of individuals to take on these complex challenges is our highest calling. Oh gosh, look at this one, Mark. You remember this? Look at the kids. They're making their animal claws. Because my mom had cancer when I was 14, it had a really strong effect on me. I was very afraid that I would get breast cancer. I just was too afraid to ever go to the doctor. But I felt like I needed to make sure I was healthy to be there for the rest of the family. I did go and have a mammogram done. My doctor called me two days later when they had the results and told me that it was positive for breast cancer. I had the bilateral mastectomy, chemotherapy. I thought, I've done it, I'm okay. In March of 2018, I woke up at 3 a.m and felt a lump right next to my belly button. I had two small spots on my lung and three small spots that were they could see on an MRI in my brain. It felt like a death sentence. I don't, not to sugarcoat it, it that's what it felt like. I, I thought I would be dead in a few months. I, I literally just went to that. I went to that spot. They were in the process of getting ready to open a clinical trial it seemed like a lifeline. In the past, we have treated almost all patients with a given cancer the same way. Yet for many patients, those drugs were not effective. Precision Oncology is tailoring our therapy to what is happening in each patient and their tumor. The SMART program is the implementation of Precision Oncology for the individual patient. We measure the tumors in many different ways in order to get clues about how they might be more effectively attacked. This generates many terabytes of data. One of the key challenges that we have is the need to analyze that data in real time. The partnership with Micron is designed to make this happen faster using the technologies that they have available. We are helping the Knight Cancer Institute speed up their analytics pipeline using Micron's deep learning accelerators so that the data extraction is in a clinically relevant time frame. Some of these patients don't have three months to wait for an analysis to be completed. They need it done in a week, in a day, an hour. I have been treating patients for a very long period of time and all too frequently the cancer wins. However, Beth was one of those exciting cases that when we first analyzed what was happening with her tumor, we knew that we had something truly exciting for her. The best I thought it was gonna hear was it hadn't gotten worse. I never dreamed that the tumors would be reduced and that there would be nothing new. You build technologies to do something, so why not build the technologies that will accelerate insight for some of our most complex questions, like cancer. I feel incredibly lucky right now. We've spent time with our grandkids. Our seven-year-old, we decided to surprise her for her last day of kindergarten. She jumped up and down and came running out and went, Grammy, Grammy, you're here. She, it was. It was the best. It was so wonderful. It was those moments I, I got to have. 